Hey guys, it's Coach 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. Alright, we're finally in the labyrinth for the first time ever, and uh, things are going to be pretty slow to start things off. We're only at level 1, but I did bring myself a couple of herbs just because, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start doing a little navigation. Now I should note, the labyrinth is always static, there is no randomized flooring or whatnot, so it's all the same. First direction is heading here. Oh, first couple enemies. Alright, I'll just attack because the main character hero is magically useless. He gets no magic over the course of the entire game. Although there are some items that can cast spells that he can use, which is really his only way of doing something. So... This first part of the game really is really slow, and the best thing to do is simply just take your time and fight everything. Also, don't die. Oh, whoops. No. We need to go this direction, and this way, and then this way is the correct passage. Don't go too far right now, because you will end up facing tougher enemies. Wow. Imagine running from a dude who's level freaking one. Take an L. Alright. We'll just move on down here. Oh, more ooze. Well, I mean, at least this is helping. These guys are only doing one damage apiece. Oh, I should also note, uh, much like Dragon Quest, well, Drag Warrior in this case, which was my third Let's Play. The HP of the enemies is not static. That being said, uh, one enemy could have one point difference. If I remember reading it right, it's like one to five HP difference. So, it's just a rough estimate on that sense. And so far, we're doing okay. Um,. Is there anything this way? Oh crap. Ambushed by slugs. Well, at least only one attack. Just gotta do your thing. Ah, oh, that's stupid. There it goes. Just run through here. And there we go. Yes, yeah, so if you go this direction and take this left, you head down this way, and there's your first chest of the game, but I got pit warps guarding it. Oh, great. Well, that helps. And now, note that Hero's HP, well, his status screen is now yellow. That happens when you're under 50% HP, and it turns red if you're KO. Besides an herb. Alright, cool. I think I'll, uh... Actually, I should check status. Can I even... Oh, wait. Um... The only way to actually check what your level is is to the shrine. I forgot. Oh. Uh... This would be a good time to run. That's why. There we go. Yeah, I was not gonna work deal with that. Go ahead and use one of my herbs. Now put me up back up to perfect health. And now I'm just going to turn back. Just meander around this little area, because uh As I said, it is really, really slow to start things off. And the main reason for it is just to deal with an enemy later on that will kick my ass at this point. And the whole goal is just to get better gear so you can deal with something that later sets stuff in motion. 
It's just a random enemy, too. That's just... Fix it's a fixed encounter. Deal with a fixed encounter and you can actually move on. There's my first critical. And there's level two. Alright, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and keep moving onward. Just Yeah, just kinda stick around here. And that'll be that. Another top concern would actually be gold. Which you'll need to get better stuff, which you can use to get in deeper. So yeah, right now it's basically grind simulator. Something that draws me back to freaking Dragon Warrior. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of comparisons to that game, I think. But uh, it does remind me that I did want to do Dragon Warrior 2 at some point. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it by this year because. I don't want to do a Let's Play that transitions into the next year. If anything, I want to be able to at least make sure all my main stuff is completed, and when the new year begins, I can start new stuff in that sense. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm mostly just wandering around here trying to fight enemies. That's the most important concern. All I can do is just attack. And run if I absolutely need to, like I do with the man apes. The man apes are just tougher enemies, and I wasn't in the right position to do it. At least the users only do one damage. And there we go. Alright, um... Now would be a good time to use my second herb. How many at? Eh, just a little over seven minutes. It's not bad. Yeah, as long as I just keep rolling around here, it's not that bad. The slimy oobies and the cave slugs are probably what you want. And I'll just wander around here, keep fighting. I still got one herb, so I'm not as worried. I'll just keep fighting here with these, and we'll be good to go. Up there is actually just the wall, whatever. Lone cave slug. exist here too. I mean, not that it matters, I don't think it really does much. I mean, even if it would, I already took it out, so... I'm just wandering around here. Oh, that's a door. That door is what we need to go into to actually start really going through the plot of the game. Unfortunately, we can't access it yet because we have nothing. We have literally nothing. At least the slimy uses help. Because they really are just easy to deal with. Of course, I'm just trying to get gold as well, because you need better stuff to really get moving anyway. And that's how it goes. Hey, I got an herb! Well then. Kinda of like best case scenario right there. Leveling up and getting an herb. I can keep moving farther! And I didn't even expect it! I 
Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna move farther. I mean... There's not much to do at this point, other than just run around and beat the crap out of enemies. Sure, there are a couple chests, like that first one I picked up, but... You gotta be cautious, because if you end up in the wrong encounter, you're gonna end up getting whacked. Like the man-apes that I faced earlier. Of course, I'm probably going deeper than I should, but... I'm feeling a little bold. Plus, it's been 10 minutes. Let's actually try to do something. Oh, three game slugs. This shouldn't be that bad. That's a wrap! I'm at 16, even though that's halfway, I think I'll be fine. Oh, there's the next chest, which is also guarded by monsters. Let's go ahead and kill this slug first. It's got more health and is... was less likely to be one shot. With my crappy bronze knife. Go ahead and search this. Inside here's 50 gold. Alright, cool stuff. Speaking of gold, where am I at in that? I am at 200 exactly. Huh, how about that? Um, I do not really want to go much farther. Let's just walk back. Ah, sweet. Caught by surprise. I'm gonna go after the dark jelly. Because that's just a stronger version of the slimy ooze. The ooze are a joke. There we go. Taken care of. Alright, let's, uh... Ow. <laughs> At least they're slimy ooze. And I am really getting low. So I'll use another herb after this, and it'll be fine. Yeah, these episodes are going to be really freaking slow. I just know it. But at least I gained a couple levels to help me out. Alright, let's go ahead and use that next, uh, herb. So I can put myself back up to, uh, max health. And that will be a thing. So yeah, um, this was something I was planning for a little after Albert Odyssey and Sewer Coden, because I wanted to do those games in the 10th and 11th Let's Plays. However, with the uh, mechanical issues going with the laptop, um, I'd have to uh, push back on them, because Albert Odyssey had some audio lag going into the third episode, and first episode of Sewer Coden had too many issues that kept being posted, uh, such as copyright claims and laptops suddenly shutting off during the middle of recording, which is the worst thing because that actually corrupts all the footage. So as a result, I dropped them. I wanted to do something a little more, well, a little less intensive on, uh, the system, so I went for this game, because it was something that I had recently completed, something that I wanted to get out of the way as well, and, well, here we are playing it. So, that was really the main reason why I chose Shining in the Darkness in this case. Because, uh, I really 
when it comes to playing sequels, I am gonna eventually do Dragon Warrior 2 and Fantasy Star 2 since I did do that on the Master System earlier this year. Um, I don't want to do them like immediately in sequels though. I want to change stuff around a little bit and then go for a sequel. Hell, I might actually think of doing Final Fantasy 2, but uh, that one's gonna be really weird though, considering how the thing. Um, that one's gonna be really weird, uh, considering how the system works, and it is gonna be the NES version, which is going to be a train wreck in its own right, but it's a train wreck I'm prepared for, so, I might as well just get it out of the way, <laughs> and it'll all be covered. As far as I'm concerned, the only game that I would plan to do a redo of would be the first Final Fantasy, which is on PSP, instead of the NES one that I did, mainly because of extra content. Because I, I know how to go through the original game at this point, it doesn't mean jacked me. I guess I leveled up. Um, oh, we're at 16 minutes. I, I've been wanting to push a little farther on upload times, because I was planning to do that with Albert Ossie and Sewer Code, because I knew those games were going to last a while. This one's probably going to be the same one. So, I am going to just uh, run these things a little longer, uh, pushing more towards the 20 mark for each episode, especially since it's all just fighting like crazy, and very little story once I get past this first major enemy. Until then, it's freaking Grind Simulator. On that note, I can't... I'm looking at this now, and in retrospect, this screen really is dumb. You couldn't use the full freaking screen for the game, guys? Like, come on. Uh, at least the next game, Shining Force, probably did a little better in that sense. <laughs> uh, that's a game I actually do want to have from my uh, collection, except I've never found a copy that was complete that looked good. Uh, copy that I most recently saw was complete, but the manual and cartridge were rental, and it looks like absolute ass. So I'm wary on that for that reasoning. A copy of Shine Holy Ark, well, Shine Holy Ark, shit. Um, I actually do want to play Shine in the Holy Ark later on. Shine in the Darkness looks much better. It looks about as good as you can get. Eh, with somewhere and some instances, but other than that, that's pretty much where it sits. Alright, we're approaching 18 minutes. Um, how are we doing? We're actually doing pretty good. Um... I think at this point would be a fair time to cut, because we did gain a few levels just continuously fighting, and I did do a bit of podcasting and stuff, and um, we'll just continue on with the grind simulator next episode. Hopefully we'll actually get somewhere to do stuff. With that said, I'm going to close things here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.